Tom Kozlowski here with you on 104.5 The Team and 104.5 The Team.com. And joining us on the phone line, he represents the 107th District. Assemblyman Steve McLaughlin joins us. And Assemblyman, what's the latest update on daily fantasy sports possibly returning and becoming legal again in New York State? Yeah, well, it's good to be with you. And uh, it looks like it's headed in the right direction. We did pass it late at night uh, on our last day of session there. Uh, so we were able to get it through. Uh, and now head to the governor's desk for hopefully his signature. I, I don't think there's a guarantee that this governor signs this. Uh, I think he will, but there's no guarantee until that ink uh, hits the paper, until that pen hits the paper. We don't know. So, uh, so far, so good for those of us that believe that folks should have the ability to participate uh, in FanDuel and DraftKings and things like that. What was the support level like? Was it 70-30 in support, maybe closer to 50-50? How many people were behind getting this, trying to get legalized again? Well, that's a great question. I don't exactly know. Uh, I don't recall, to be honest. I think it was pretty strong, though. There were definitely some folks against it. Uh, but if I was guessing, I'd say it's between 60-40 and 70-30 that folks were in favor of it. Mm-hmm. Um, there were certainly mixed feelings on both sides of the aisle. So you had some Republicans for and against it, some Democrats for and against it. I was for it. Uh, I think that uh, I kind of take a libertarian approach to these things and say, look, it's, it's people's money. They earn that money. They have the right uh, to spend it as they see fit. And uh, so I was supportive of it. Uh, but really a lot of credit to Assemblyman Dean Murray uh, down on Long Island because this was certainly a big push of his for a number of years. He represents the 107th District Assemblyman. Steve McLaughlin joins us here on the phone lines on 104.5 The Team and 104.5 The Team.com. You touched on that it's not a guarantee that Governor Cuomo signs this. Why is this not a guarantee? Well, I'm sure he's going to be getting a lot of pressure uh, from from groups that are opposed to it, uh, just as he will be getting a lot of pressure to sign it from those that support it. So, uh, you know, you never know where a governor comes down, you know, on any issue until... Well, actually, on many issues, you don't know where they are until they sign it. He hasn't indicated, uh, I don't think, that I've seen it. I don't think he's indicated his public support uh, for the bill. I will say that he was probably uh, in favor of it because I don't think we would have seen it on the floor if he was uh, strongly opposed to this uh, this legislation. I think he would have taken uh, action to, um, uh, to try to you know stop the bill from getting to the floor. And there was talk that there were some baselines said if this does get passed by Governor Cuomo, that one is that there's going to be tax involved in this, and also horse racing and college athletics will not be eligible for daily fantasy in New York. Why were those provisions added? Yeah, I'm not sure. I think they were just trying to tighten this bill up as much as they could and um, <clears throat> try to eliminate some some factors that might have uh, caused even more uh, opposition to this bill. That's my only guess. I don't think college sports necessarily belong in there. Uh, that would be, I support that aspect of it. I don't think college sports uh, sports should be law involved in there either. And we have OTB, we have the tracks for horse racing, so I think that kind of covers that aspect of it. So I think they were tightening the bill up. Um, and I really, I think this came down, as you know, from when Attorney General Schneiderman acted. Uh, he probably acted out of what his beliefs were, and I, I don't fault him for that. Uh, but I do think that the, that there was a, a hard look at this in saying, look, how can we get some tax revenue out of this as well. So I think that's probably, hmm. knowing New York, I'm sure that played a heavy role. <laughs> he represents the 107th District. Assemblyman Steve McLaughlin joins us here on the phone lines, 104.5 The Team and 104.5 The Team.com. You touched on that you don't think college athletics should be a part of daily fantasy. Is that because we're dealing with amateur athletes, or is it a fear of something down the line of college athletics and this, the lawsuits against the NCAA, and they're trying to find their almost piece of the pie for attendance and things like that. Why do you take the stance of college athletes not involved in daily fantasy? Well, yeah, you know, my own belief on that would be: listen, we're dealing with amateur athletes. I think you kind of you don't want to not that that taints it, but I don't just don't think it's needed to have on the college level. Uh, there's plenty of action and activity on the pro level there, so I kind of take a, uh, an approach to that that says, look, it's, it's amateur athletes. I'm not so sure we should be we should be uh, we should be having fantasy sports on the college side. Other people could disagree, and, and that's fine, but that, just, that would be my position. Now, if it had been in the bill uh, where college athletes were, or college athletics were included, I would have still supported the bill, but it would have been something that I, that I didn't like in the bill. Now, I know our sports fans here that listen to 104.5, the team might be a little mad at me that I didn't ask this sooner, but what is the timeline? When could they possibly get back on FanDuel and DraftKings and start playing daily fantasy again in New York? 
Uh, it's a great question. It could go relatively quickly because the assembly, the legislature sends bills to the governor after they've been passed. They send him bills all summer long, and he signs bills sort of in, um, in blocks or chunks of bills. They're not all related, of course. They're just bills that get sent to him. And the, and the legislature picks what bills they're going to send and when. If they really want to, uh, and for the folks out there listening, you know, you can certainly call your assembly member, your senator, and say, I'm urging you to, to push the assembly and Senate leadership to send this to the governor as quickly as possible. Because he could sign it any time he wants to, uh, or he could sit until the end of the year and make a decision. So we wait and see when FanDuel DraftKings could be legal again in New York. Assemblyman Steve McLaughlin representing the 107th District. Assemblyman, thank you so much for the time. Hopefully we'll talk again soon, and hopefully Daily Fantasy will be legal again in New York. I hope so. I hope it's coming soon, and thanks for the time. Good talking with you.